This video describes how to use ThreatDirector to analyze the results of a vulnerability scan that has been imported into BladeLogic Portal. You can fix vulnerabilities by completing a wizard that launches one or more BladeLogic Portal operations, such as a patching or network shell operation. Before you can remediate any vulnerabilities, you must first import the results of a vulnerability scan from a tool such as Qualys, Nessus, or Rapid7, and map those results to servers and remediation content in BMC Server Automation. The process is demonstrated in another video. Now we resume the process by looking at the Threat Director dashboards. First, select Threat Director Security Dashboard. The Security Dashboard gives a global picture of vulnerabilities detected in vulnerability scans. By default, the dashboard shows data from the last 90 days. In the bubble chart, a red circle represents a vulnerability that exceeds your SLA. The size of a bubble indicates how many endpoints are affected. This vulnerability affects 25 endpoints, while this vulnerability only affects one endpoint. Filters let you narrow down the focus of the dashboard to a critical set of vulnerabilities. For OS, I'll select Windows. For Severity, I'll select Severity 4 and Severity 5. Then click Apply Filters. Now the chart shows information only for Severities 4 and 5. Next, I'll select Threat Director Operator Dashboard. The Operator Dashboard provides charts and filters that help you identify vulnerabilities that require attention. When you have settled on a set of critical vulnerabilities that require action, you can launch a remediation wizard. Notice in the filters how the Windows operating system is already selected. So is the severity level. When you switch between the security and operator dashboards, Threat Director remembers your filter selections. Now we're going to use filtering to tighten the focus a little more. For SLA, I'll select vulnerabilities that are approaching or have exceeded the service level agreement. For status, I'll select awaiting attention. This excludes vulnerabilities for which remediation is already in progress. Click Apply Filters. Here is the actionable vulnerabilities list. It shows every vulnerability on every mapped and enrolled endpoint included in the scans you are using, but after filtering is applied. Currently, there are only two vulnerabilities in the list. Now, we are going to start the remediation process. Click Remediate to open the Remediation Operation Wizard. Enter a name for the operation, then click Next. Here, you can review the list of remediations that can be deployed. If you do not want to deploy a remediation, select the checkmark to deselect it. Click Next. On the Operation page, you can set up job approvals. For Approval Type, select Change Management Automatic Approval. When you make this selection, all operations that the wizard generates will require automatic job approval. You can also set up job approvals for each individual operation that gets created, but for this example, we'll stick with the global approach. Be aware that to enable job approval, you must connect the portal to BMC Atrium Orchestrator, and BMC Server Automation must be integrated with BMC Remedy ITSM. This page also lets you set up global or individual schedules for operations. In this example, we're going to set a global schedule, but we're going to override that schedule for one of the operations. First, let's set the global schedule. Under Global Schedule, select With Schedule. Now, use these fields to set a time and date for the operation. You must set a time at least five minutes in the future. I'm setting the time to 1 a.m. tomorrow morning, which is our next maintenance window. Now, let's override the global schedule for the patching operation. 
We want that operation to run during a maintenance window over the weekend. Click Override Global Scheduling and or Approval. This option lets us define separate schedules for each operation that gets created. On the row for the patching operation, click the configuration icon. On the Schedule and BAO Approval tab, make sure the WIS Schedule option is selected. Use these fields to set a time and date for the operation. I'm setting the date to next Saturday, which is the maintenance window I want to use for patching. Click OK. In the planned operations list, make sure all operations have green checks, which means they are configured to launch correctly. At this point, I could click Next and use the following page to set up notifications for when the operation runs. But in this example, I am not setting any notifications. Click Finish. A message tells you that the operations will appear when they have been generated. Click OK. The home page displays a message like this while the operations you have defined are being created. If you are creating a big job, it can take several minutes for the operations to become available. When the operations have been generated, you can refresh the browser page and they appear on the portal's home page. If you scheduled the operations to run immediately, they begin to execute. In this example, they are ready to execute according to the schedule I have set up. Thanks for watching.